Welcome back to my channel you guys. I decided to uh, start my day with you because I love you and we like best friends. And wanted to show you my everyday winter makeup routine. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a very long time but I also haven't done an everyday routine for a while and I wanted to share some of the products that are my go-to's now because maybe you'll discover something that will change your life. And that's why I do what I do. So this is a uh, skin cuticles and this is uh, sunscreen. And it's a broad spectrum, which is very important to remember when you're purchasing sunscreens. Uh, you wanna make sure that it covers the UVA and UVB rays. So it has to say broad spectrum on it. And this one, why it is my first step in my makeup routine is because it has like a natural skin tone tint to it and it just blends really well and actually like enhances your skin which is really nice it has a little like interesting smell to it at first it goes away once it's on your skin so that's what i like to use every day on my skin especially on days where like i don't really go anywhere or do anything important i want to kind of make sure that i don't use like a lot of foundation on days where i do want some extra coverage this is it cosmetics and this is their cc oil free matte it's a full coverage cream it also actually has sunscreen a 40 spf which is good i've been using this a little bit and actually like as my foundation foundation so um, whenever i'm kind of going and i know it's going to be a long day and i want to have like a really put together face i'll use that but on days where again don't do much this is more than enough for me and then i'll move to my concealer and this is my rms beauty and cover up uh, my shade is zero zero and i actually have been using it for over a year now and it's funny to see how little you need because i've had it for over a year and look how much i have left this is a great moisturizing and a great coverage what i love about this specific uh, concealer is that because it has coconut oil in it it really kind of hydrating on the skin so you know how throughout the day we kind of start having like the lines where the concealer goes into so i don't really experience it with this and i actually even love it more in the winter time because this area gets pretty dry so i find that this is pretty moisturizing and then i'll use it in the areas where i need a little more help and support i'll use it a little bit here just to smooth uh, the area also um, love mentioning that this is an organic company a natural company so it's clean from all the nasties that you might want to avoid okay the next thing that i'll do is brows my holy grail brow product is anastasia beverly hills the brow Wiz. i use a taupe uh, for my brows but if you're looking for a little dupe that is much cheaper which i guess that's the whole point of a dupe is this covergirl ultra fine brow pencil i find with a lot of um, brow pencils especially when i try to find an alternative to anastasia beverly hills a lot of them have this like auburny pigment uh, which i really don't like so it's very difficult for me to find the right color that has like a cool tone to it like a brunette with a cool tone this is kind of the best option otherwise and i only use this because i couldn't find the covergirl one so i was like i don't have any more and i was at sephora and i was like i might as well buy it don't be a cheapskate for Laria. spend some on you you know you deserve it you're worth it anyway so now i have both okay so brows are a very important step for me i actually like don't shape my brows because they just like don't grow so i don't have to worry about any threading or anything like that the only thing that i do is just like clean out these areas a little bit and that's it i really like that kind of bushy natural look so as you can see i have to kind of fake it so i love using the method of what do you call this method why when i want to say something it sounds so like knowledgeable i forget the term 
feathering thank you i like to do the feathering motion and not necessarily like such defined techniques so this kind of gives me what i like so for me what's important is to make sure that these bald spots are covered and then here it can be a little bit more lighter and natural looking look at this difference look at me powerful independent woman look at this scared little girl and now let's do the other side feather 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 one side always looks like better which is okay symmetry is for suckers and i always make sure that my brow won't go past this point and here okay this is the longest part of my makeup routine just saying and once I'm done with my eyebrows, I use this 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. And I'm just gonna brush these babies out. Ta da! Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna move to a little bit of definition because it's been a very cold gloomy winter and the minute i came back from vacation my tan just pew, disappeared so i've been loving this chanel um bronze universal bronzing makeup base whatever it is and guys i learned a new hack today are you ready for this so i don't know about you but i know that i'm supposed to clean my brushes like all the time after like two uses or two days or whatever but honestly i forget and i don't have an excuse i just forget so what i found out is that you can actually use micellar water to clean them so what happens is apparently micellar water um, has this thing where it grabs all the dirt and makeup off when you use it on your skin so this will apply the same for brushes so I just put it on this little pad and I put the micellar water on it. Don't need to let it dry. Yeah, it's a little wet. Okay, while it dries, I'll dance. <laughs> it's dry. So I'll just do this really. There's no magical a proper technique for this and what i love about this one is that first of all it's creamy which i appreciate much more these days because i have very dry skin so when i use like powdery anything really sometimes my skin gets dry and it's like becomes flaky and i hate that and here as you can see it's a very gentle and natural kind of shade and it's very buildable so I use this to bring a little light to my face and also bring a little bit of definition. Okay, that's done. For lashes, I like to just put a little bit of mascara at the ends just to kind of give a little shape to my eyes. I'm using at the moment this Ilia After Midnight Mascara. And this is um, a natural brand, so if you guys are looking for a natural alternative, this one is a really nice mascara. I like to use it during the day especially, but it's really buildable as well. Also look at the brush, it's like you can make it either longer or a little more dramatic, depends which side you use. I haven't worn mascara in a few days. Look at this babies! Yes, Ilya. And then what I'll use is, I'm using right now uh, a moisturizer for my lips, obviously. Need dehydration. I'm using this Vis Viva, which is a clean brand. This is hydrating lip balm, and it's basically just like honey and coconut and some other awesome ingredients. So I'll just apply it right here. And you guys know how I love multi-purpose products. So use it right here as well, just for a little highlighting action. And then I'll use my Tata Harper 
honestly i've been using it for literally like three years on and off this is the voluminizing lip and cheek tint the color is very naughty this is also a clean brand and i like to use it on my lips and on my cheeks okay it's like a little healthy looking skin and i'm done this is my everyday winter makeup routine when i want to keep it simple and quick and easy um, this i can obviously also do on the run because it takes minimal effort if you guys are looking for powder to put on top to mattify some areas i actually sometimes do it depends on the day right now i'm just like really loving this glowy healthy skin this is like my latest discovery and i'm absolutely obsessed with it and it's easier to use when you're on the go so this is from a company called veil this was sent to me and i never like spoke to the company i don't know they got my address but i'm super happy that they did so this is actually made in canada so yay so this is an automat instead of using a loose powder i'll use this to mattify areas i'll usually put it under my eyes and i'll put it here i'll put it here just to avoid this i love the fact that it's like creamy i use my fingers like make sure that your fingers are clean obviously uh, it also come with this sponge but i don't like i feel like it will take everything down with it so i use my fingers instead and you just kind of target where you want to put it a beautifying mattifying effect and it doesn't feel like you've put like weight on your face which sometimes how i feel when i use loose powder so this is it this is what's up thank you guys so much for spending the morning with me and getting helping me get prepared for the day this is my final look and all the tools that i've used i'm gonna link everything in the description box put all the names and the shades uh, and if you guys have any other questions let me know and now that I'm back into doing more beauty, I would love to hear anything that you would specifically want to see from me, any beauty looks. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really value your attention and time that you spend to watch this video. Like for real. I feel like YouTubers don't say it enough. I know that time is very precious and you decided to spend it with me. Thank you. Really, thank you. Love you guys. See you next time.